What is Osiris? Osiris is a steel roller coaster located at Parc Asterix in France. Like many of the attractions at the park, the ride is themed around the adventures of the popular comic book character Asterix. In particular, the ride's storyline directly derives from the animated film The Twelve Tasks of Asterix, in which the lead character encounters Iris, an infamous Egyptian sorcerer. Osiris as an attraction opened to the public on the 7th of April 2012. The ride, which was manufactured by Swiss company Bolliger and Mabillard, is the well-known inverted roller coaster model. To immerse guests within the ride storyline, a new area named the Land of Egypt was constructed at the park alongside Osiris. Together, the large investment greatly expanded Park Asterix, attracting a multitude of new visitors. The new ride as a whole was built at the cost of 20 million euros, 8 million of which was spent creating the new themed area. As guests walk up to the ride, they are greeted by a multitude of Egyptian style theming. An obelisk lies in the centre of the area, in front of the large temple of Iris. Sand lies beneath the ride's track, further adding to the immersive nature of the experience. Guests enter the queue line through an archway located beneath the coaster's single vertical loop. Statues of Egyptian gods are embedded within the walls of the archway, guiding riders to the sandy oasis beneath the coaster's layout. After navigating part of the queue line, guests enter the temple building and traverse through four themed rooms. The first of which is the impossible stair illusion, while the second depicts the various spells Iris, the sorcerer, has created. The third room takes guests through Iris's laboratory full of various potions and equipment, while the final room is the ride station. By this point, guests are said to have become hypnotized by Iris, causing them to follow his every command. Once visitors board the trains, which seat a total of 32 visitors in eight rows of four, they are cast with a spell. Iris turns the riders into birds, allowing them to experience the sensation of flight. At this point, the trains of the ride are dispatched and guests begin to climb the lift hill. Riders reach the maximum height of 35 meters before plummeting down a leftward bank drop. Interestingly, Osiris became the first B&M inverted coaster to not feature the classic pre-drop, instead opting for an instant steep descent. After guests navigate the initial drop, they enter the ride's first inversion, a dive loop. This is followed by a steep right-hand overbank turn, which leads riders into the second inversion, a vertical loop. The trains quickly pass through a small tunnel before navigating an Immelman. This is gracefully followed by a right-hand turn and a quick drop into a tunnel that lies within the water directly in front of the Egyptian temple. Riders exit the tunnel directly into a zero-g roll, followed by an upwards helix. The ride experience ends with a second zero-g roll, as well as a series of gradual turns, leading guests into the final brake run. Throughout the graceful flight, riders navigate 1,000 meters of track, reaching speeds of up to 90 kilometers per hour. The full experience lasts for a total of 54 seconds, measured from the first drop to the ride's final brake run. Osiris as a pure ride is often stated to be one of the less intense Bolliger and Mabillard inverted coasters. However, the ride's unique layout and fantastic theme provide guests with an overall experience that surpasses most of its counterparts. On top of this, the ride's high throughput of 1,600 riders per hour drastically increased the overall capacity of Park Asterix. Would you like to see a similar, unique, large-scale addition at your local park? What's your opinion? I'd like to give a huge thanks to everyone supporting me on Patreon, including Dean Newman, Simon Stirat, Tolgerb, Philip, Tyler Bennett, and Archie Huggins. If you enjoy the content we make and would like to see the quality of the channel improve quickly over time, consider becoming a patron and supporting our work for as little as just $1 per month.